Two and a half million times per year, a home is burglarized in the United States. Every 15 seconds, two and a half million times a year, someone's possessions are stolen and their feelings of security are taken from them. How do we combat this? How do we keep this from happening again? That's the same question my wife and I asked when we moved into our home. After thinking about it a little bit, I've decided that all we were talking about is, is placing a secure perimeter. Something I've done many times as an NCO in the United States Army. <clears throat> By looking at our home as a perimeter and establishing layers of security, I decided that we could secure our home and prevent this from happening. What are those layers? I come up with five layers of security that I think will help secure our home and keep us from being one of those two and a half million statistics. Five layers of security. Far exterior, the near exterior, the exterior, the interior, and then our personal space. The far exterior. The far exterior, the far exterior covers the space from your curb out. That includes your neighbors, neighborhood crime watch. And so what to to establish that layer, what you need to do is get to know your neighbors, talk to them, introduce yourself to them, advise them if you're going out of town, uh, give them an emergency contact number. If there is a community crime watch area in your neighborhood, join the community crime watch. Next layer, the near exterior. The near exterior covers the space from your curb up to your house. As you're talking to your neighbors and you're getting to know your neighbors and establishing that first layer of security, take that a step farther, establish your near, your near exterior layer of security. In that area, you would talk to your neighbors and you tell them, I'm going out of town. Could you watch my house? And could you pick up the newspapers? Check my mail, check if there's any packages that got left in my door to or pick them up. And maybe even if they have a teenage kid, get him to, uh, to mow your lawn for you while you're gone. Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to make it look like, you're trying to make your home look unattractive to a burglar. And those are the things they look for when they ride around neighborhoods. Okay, the exterior, now we're getting closer to your house. Now we're talking the area immediately around your house. Thorny edges. Thorny hedges. Excuse me. Uh, if you notice on this house here, hedges are right up against the window. Uh, in this case, they're not thorny, but there's not enough room for anyone to get behind the uh, hedge and hide, and it's creating a barrier from a potential burglar, a barrier between your window and the potential burglar. Motion lights. Motion lights are great to cover areas in, say, your backyard. Areas that are, that are out of sight, that can be dark. Uh, motion lights anywhere in your house, really, will help deter a burglar. It's just another layer of, de of deterrence. All right. The next one. Security signs. Whether you have a security system in your house or not, Security sign's a good idea. You can buy them on eBay. A uh, potential burglar does not know whether or not you have a security system in your house or a security service like ABT. They see a sign. If they see that sign and then they see all these other layers of security, their odds are that they will bypass your home. This is a security sign on our house. <laughs> Not necessarily the uh, ADT type, but from the road it actually looks like an ADT. Next one, please. And alarm signs. <clears throat> on the back windows of our house, the house, the, the part of the house that's hidden from the street and on the ground layer, all of the windows have this alarm sticker on. Uh, in this case, it actually is an alarm. Uh, if you can't afford a security system, 
such as ADT that has a monthly charge, you can buy these alarms from Home Depot for about $7 a piece. And they, one, they, you can see them from the outside and, and you know that there's an alarm on the house. And two, they actually go off if you raise the window. Uh, my wife sets them off all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a privacy fence in your backyard, be beware of dog sign uh, is another term. Whether you have a dog or not, uh, they see the sign and it's just one more visual, that, a visual clue that tells them, hey, maybe I shouldn't do this. All right, the interior of your house. Everybody talks about, they think about locks and they think about locking their windows and security systems and everything, but they never think about the interior of their house. Uh, what happens in many cases is burglars will actually walk up to a house, look in the window, see if they can see anything. Uh, for instance, like right now, I know there's an iPad laying by a window in our house. Uh, all it would take is somebody to punch a hole in the window, reach in, grab the iPad, and they'd be gone. But because our blinds are pulled, they can't see that iPad, and therefore they don't necessarily know what's in there. Uh, if you do have valuables, keep them secure, keep them locked up. And if you're going to be gone, just like with the newspapers and talking to your neighbors. Uh, have light timers in your home. And then the personal space. Uh, the big thing here is what are you going to do if you come home and your home has been burglarized, or what are you going to do if you are home and your home is burglarized? Uh, have a plan how you're going to handle that. If you're married, speak to your spouse. Come up with a plan of what you're going to do. Personal protection device. Uh, I'm not going to tell everybody to go out and buy a weapon, uh, but some sort of personal protection device in the event that you are home and your home is burglarized. It doesn't necessarily have to be a gun. Uh, my wife carries a mace on her purse. Uh, something like that to help protect you in the event of a burglary when you're home. A flashlight. If you're working, most of your time at home is spent at night. Uh, most of that time is spent in your bedroom. Uh, so a personal protection device and a flashlight near your bed in the event of a break-in. Uh, you might, may not necessarily, even if you hear something outside, you might not necessarily want to turn on the lights in your house because all that does is create a birdcage effect where it makes you easily visible. Flashlight doesn't do that. And then last but not least, the cell phone. Uh, if you are home, your home is burglarized. Uh, burglars, particularly violent criminals, have been known to cut phone lines, and so a cell phone would mitigate that. Okay, in the last few minutes we've talked about the five layers of security, how to secure your home, and avoid burglary. Uh, those layers of security are far exterior, near exterior, exterior, interior, and in your personal space. Uh, these rules or these layers aren't hard. They're not written in stone. Uh, you can take them and adapt them to your personal needs or comfort level. The main thing is have a plan. Uh, have a plan to secure your home, have a plan to react to coming home to a burglary, and have a plan to react to a burglary while you're home. And don't be one of the two and a half million people whose homes burglarized every year in this country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.